Hello good people, it's Red and Vijaya here. Have you ever wondered how much sound was lost during MP3 compressions? In this video, I'm gonna show you how much of it was lost. How am I going to do that? Fortunately, I have an original CD which I got from KFC a few years back, and I decided to rip it into FLAC file. From that FLAC, I will compress it to MP3 and then I'll compare how much of it was lost. If you want to know it, just watch it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Now I'm going to open the flag file and convert it to mp3 with bitrate of 128 kilobits per second. and then reload the whole things, so Audition won't use the original flag file from its cache. You can see that the spectral frequency of MP3 is not as full as on the flag. That is where the missing sound is. Now I'll need to convert both the flag and MP3 to mono. So it can occupy as a single channel on a new stereo audio file. Mono conversion will combine both channels into a single channel without missing any information. It's just like left channel plus right channel. Then let's create a new audio file to contain both of the flag and mp3 on the left and right channel respectively. Top is left and bottom is right. I'm just copy pasting it as usual. Now I'll zoom in and let's see the shape of the sound wave. Although highly similar, it's not exactly the same. The top one is flat from CD rip, appears to be a little more detailed, and I'm sure that the detail is the lost sound. Confirming to it, I can see that the spectral frequency monitor shows a significant clippings on the MP3 side. Now I'm inverting the MP3 to make it a negative sound wave that will cancel out the flag once I combine both sound waves, just like left channel minus right channel. And now we have the missing audio from the compressions. So subtle, but yet audible. Amplifying. And now I can confirm it's definitely a song on its own, although it sounds like something that is coming from a mistune FM radio. So now you know how much music was lost during MP3 compressions. And I really like to thank you Sandy for writing such a beautiful and touching music. I know there is a tragic backstory to it, but yeah, I still thank you anyway. And I intend no copyright infringements. I use your songs just for educational purposes. Okay, I guess that's it for now, and bye bye.